Hi, welcome to West Coast Stackers. Today's video, let's talk about Silver Stacking 101. If you're brand new to stacking silver or curious as an investor, you're considering silver, but you don't want to make a mistake buying the wrong silver or overpaying for your first purchase. In this video, you'll learn the basics. You'll gain a quick understanding of silver spot prices, premiums, the difference between government minted coins, generic silver, the primary goal of this video is for you, the viewer, to understand where you're entering the silver market, which silver offers the best value, and how do I get the best price for the silver I purchase. So hang tight and we'll be right back. Welcome back at West Coast Stackers. Here are my goals. I'm a silver stacker. I stack as a hedge against inflation as a store of value. My goal is to stack the most silver over the long run at the best price. For this means, I've purchased the majority of generic silver with only about 5% of government minted coins. And what is silver's unique advantage? It's affordability. It has a lower price per ounce in gold, which makes it a very cool option for stackers. You can start with less than $30. This affordability opens the door for any investor to begin. Silver is also an industrial metal. It's one of the best electrical conducting metals we have. It's absolutely essential for the coming green revolution. I'm not a greenie, but the government is pumping trillions into solar panels, wind farms, and batteries. Your investment could make phenomenal jump in value if the green energy movement takes off. As a silver stacker, I want the best value for my purchase. I don't intend to sell, but I absolutely do not want to overpay. And if any reason I did sell, I want to recover my investment. So to pay the least amount for the silver, I need to know where we are in the market. We'll talk more about that in a second. And what do I buy? I buy the majority generic silver. And here's the caveat. In the silver stacking community, there's a back and forth about buying government minted coins such as silver eagles versus generic silver coins or bars or rounds. Right now, American Minute Eagles are very, very expensive. They have a very high markup because of some supply and demand issues. But first, let's go to the silver spot price chart. We are at sdbullion.com. I'm not affiliated with them. They do offer a free silver spot price chart. Um, we have the current live price up 11 cents, uh, Dated June 9th, 2023, about 1241 Eastern Standard Time. Let's look at the chart. So the chart is one month out. Um, this is going to be a real quick review of silver spot prices. This is in the prices at any given time. You know, silver spot price is a current market price for one troy ounce of silver. It's traded on these commodities just like gold and oil and wheat and other commodities. There are buyers and sellers, traders and investors, all buying and selling contracts. So this is fluid. It's always moving. If I were to call up a coin shop right now and say, hey, how much are you selling um, Buffalo rounds for generic Buffalo rounds? They would look at this chart, go right now to this point, 2451, add their markup and quote me a price. If I called earlier in the day, and it was, it's actually two days ago, and it was 23.45, the price would be different. They would again look at their chart, see a lower price, still add their premium, and it would be different. Let's look at one, let's look at uh, a long look uh, from the 90s. So you see all these peaks and valleys. These are all different economic crises from the 90s to the 2000s. It was actually very stable. And as we enter 2008, we begin to see a rise. 2008 was the banking crisis. 2011, this peak of $40 and $39 an ounce was the European banking crisis. It continued to remain elevated. In 2020, we had the pandemic and we begin to see another jump in prices uh, 2021, 22, and 23, we have elevated inflation. And so during an inflation crisis, there is inflation. The, the Fed tends to raise interest rates 
and there tend to be bank failures. Interest rates change the, the prices for banks, the weaker banks tend to fail. So right now in 21, 22, and 23, there is an inflationary crisis and, and banking failures. Let's look at one month out again. So when I try to make my purchases, I realize one thing. Right now we're in inflationary and banking crisis. I know prices remain elevated. We've had a dip down to $22. If I look down uh, back three months, we actually had, let me go one year, um, we actually had dips down to $20. Last year it was in the 18s into the dips. But right now we're at a period of elevated prices back to the one month. So I try to catch the dips. I'm a dollar cost averager, meaning I buy a certain amount of silver each month. I will buy it when it's higher. I will buy it when it's lower. But in this given month, I try to time it where I get one of the lowest prices. I got a little bit higher. I didn't catch. The, I thought I was going to go down to 20, and I caught it a little bit higher. Um, so right now, we're on the move up. So if I were to call a, a local coin shop and say, hey, how much are your generic buffalo rounds? They would look at the silver spot price chart and then quote me whatever their premium is. We're going to talk about premiums next. Here is the importance of stacking and prioritizing the best price. I monitor the spot price to catch the best time each month to buy. I try to catch the dip in price or a deal. I operate a Prius hybrid car for my business, and over the last three years, my gas prices went through the roof. From $4,500 a year in 2020, to 11500 last year. I have software that tracks expenses. I've got another app that finds the cheapest gas. My mileage roughly stays the same, but last year I lost $7,000 on gas. Keep this in mind, we're talking about $2.50 per gallon difference from the years prior. So capturing silver at the best price can really make a difference in thousands of dollars lost or gained in purchases over a lifetime. Let's look at premiums on silver purchases. The premium refers to the additional cost or markup charged by wholesalers and dealers or sellers above the spot price of silver. It is their profit to keep the lights on. And here's a caveat. Silver premiums are like gasoline prices. I know, here we go with the gas again. When I want to purchase gas, I don't buy it right off the freeway. It's too expensive. I may go into town a little bit to find a better price. And just like gas prices... Silver premiums are different among different dealers from one shop to the next, from one online dealer to the next. You must shop around to find the best price. And premiums can be much higher on government minted coins such as American Eagles compared to a generic buffalo, buffalo round. So let's look at American Eagles 2023s and see what the premiums are. This is at max. We're looking at 2023 one ounce American silver eagles. Uh, the price right now is $39.56. Um, our silver spot price is up here $24.57, which means at at max, and at one American eagle will go for uh, $14.99 over spot. That's almost $15 uh, over spot. It's a pretty high premium um, from purchase of 1 to 19 pieces. Uh, that's a really big investment. Let's look at JM Bullion next. This is jmbullion.com. Uh, again, we have the 2023 one ounce American Silver Eagles. Um, they're selling for $41.39 if you send them a check or a, a direct bank transfer. Um, that would put them as at the highest on premiums at sixteen sixty five for a twenty twenty three uh, American Eagle. That, that's that's a pretty big premium sixteen over sixteen and a half dollars for a premium. Last one we're going to look at is SD Bullion. We are at sdbullion.com, dot com. The twenty twenty three one ounce American Silver Eagle coin. It is thirty nine forty seven. Again, this premium 
is fourteen ninety nine, but they actually come in a little bit cheaper than Atmex. Atmex was thirty fifty six. This is thirty nine forty seven for one each. Again, um, via check or a direct wire transfer by your bank, uh, thirty thirty nine forty seven each. So you see, premiums on these American Silver Eagles are pretty high. We had Atmex at fourteen ninety nine. Again, SD Bullion at fourteen ninety nine. But they come in a few cents cheaper, um, and JM Bullion at uh, forty one thirty nine. So the the prices are pretty high on these. We'll show them on the chart as I list them. Let's explore the different types of silver generic products. I'm going to focus on one ounce Buffalo rounds. We're going to check prices, check the premiums, and see where we're at with them. Again, I'm going to go SD Bullion. Uh, here we are at the website. Uh, again, I have no affiliation with any of these companies. Um, the price, as you can see, twenty eight seventy seven. This is one of the better price. Uh, spot is twenty four forty eight, which means it's only a four dollar and twenty nine cent um, premium on these. So we have JM Bullion on the screen now. They have one ounce generic rounds for thirty dollars nineteen cents. Their spot is twenty four fifty. This is five dollars and sixty nine cent premiums on their generics. We're gonna change to Atmex. Uh, Atmex is on the screen now. Uh, thirty dollars thirty six cents. They have their spot at twenty four fifty seven. And their premiums on a generic round is $5.79. So again, in this comparison, SD Bullion has the best price at $28.77 and a premium of $4.29. Um, the price varies between JM Bullion and Atmex. Uh, from $30.19 for JM Bullion to Atmex $30.36. Uh, so you see there's a lot of variation. you got to shop around between online local coin stores uh you've got to do your homework to to get the best price and the best value possible silver buffalo rounds are produced by private mints and there are dozens of different designs they lack any official legal tender status these rounds are primarily valued for their silver content they're usually produced in one ounce increments making them popular among collectors there is no argument american eagles are absolutely beautiful the real value of an American Eagle coin comes from the recognition it gets from the U.S. Mint. These coins are made with the best silver, making them highly sought after by people who collect precious metals. The American Eagle brand is well known worldwide, which makes these coins even more desirable for collectors and investors. Additionally, American Eagle coins are easy to sell for cash because many people are willing to buy them. Finally, let's discuss some tips for beginners looking to start their silver stacking journey. Here's a few key important points to keep in mind. First, start small. Gradually build your collection over time. If possible, buy in bulk. The larger the purchase, the lower the price per ounce. Beware of hidden costs. Uh, for instance, I live in California. Even if I order online, they'll tax me seven and a quarter percent if my purchases are below $2,000. Ouch. Look it up online if your state will uh, tax smaller purchases. The other hidden cost or online purchases is some places have minimum order requirements to receive free shipping. Lastly, a warning. Uh, social media, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, there's a lot of scammers. If you're brand new, some of these prices are too good to be true. Especially, buy two, get the third free deal for American Eagles. Just run. Remember, at the beginning of the video, three goals for my viewers. Know where you're getting into the market. This means if you're a regular buyer, monitor your silver price. Right now, we're in an inflationary period. Knowing this allows you an understanding of where you are in the market. The second one, which silver offers the best value? In my opinion, it's generic silver rounds like Buffaloes or other designs. Before you buy, find out if the rounds you're purchasing are pre-owned or brand new uncirculated. I'm okay with circulated, but it's nice to know before you buy. Don't be surprised if the very cheapest you find are scratched or tarnished. How do I get the best price for silver? 
armed with a spot price for the day, shop, shop, shop. Shop online first to find the best prices and deals, then call your local coin stores for a quote. A lot of times I found better prices from my local coin store, and I knew it because I did my shopping online first. American Eagles are cool if you're collecting all government minted coins, that's great. American Eagles are the coolest. There are no wrong ways to stack. You know, thank you for sharing a portion of your day with us at West Coast Stackers. Continue stacking, stay vigilant, and remember the freedom to invest is a fundamental right we must protect. Thank <laughs> you.